Previously on Jacob Anders Reviews Video Game Movie Review Series. Is this the last one? Is this Uwe's final video game movie adaptation? Nope, I was wrong. He's got two more of these motherfuckers. But hey, at least this time we get Nazi vampires. So here we go with number 32. <laughs> Blood Rain, the Third Reich, is brought to us by the ever enigmatic Uwe Boll. I really thought this was his last video game movie, but nope, he's got two fucking more of them coming. We follow Rain once again as she takes on the dark forces of vampires and and, and Nazis and 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 something. I don't I don't fucking know, man. I don't think they knew what the fuck this movie was about. Ultimately, I think it's about a mad Nazi scientist who wants to take some of Rain's half vampire, half human blood and inject it into Hitler to make him, I, I guess, a, a vampire Hitler, which admittedly that movie right there sounds like it could actually be pretty fucking cool that sounds like some iron sky shit or something but no we don't ever really even get there this is more like the rogue one version of that movie we see all the shit that leads up to it but we don't actually get to see that but nowhere near as good as rogue one. Oh fuck i can't believe i just compared this movie to fucking rogue one scratch that you know uve ball was on a roll there for a minute making his movies a bit better than they used to be and then he, he just wasn't he said fuck all that Let, let's just let's turn some cameras on have some people We'll do some shit and then we'll edit together and 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 make something that's what blood rain 3 is it's just the fucking cameras on some people moving around somewhat choreographed and and just doing shit there's practically no fucking story here this this movie this this movie's just like mind-numbingly fucking bad and i know some of you are saying have you lost your fucking mind uve bowl was on a roll he was making better movies what? But he was. I'm not saying he made any masterpieces or anything, but his movies were moving up in the quality department. You actually saw some passion there. Like he wanted to be there. He wanted to be telling these stories. They weren't all necessarily good, but with the likes of Postal and In the Name of the King, things were looking up. They were getting better. By no means am I saying they were great, but they were better than what he had been subjecting us to. And then he made Far Cry, which was just kind of... <sighs> Ugh. And now this, which is just fucking trash. And it's not even that good trash that he used to make that was so bad it was good. Like House of the Dead. It was a fucking terrible movie, but you could tell the guy really wanted to tell this movie. He thought this was going to be his big fucking movie. And it wasn't. I mean, it actually kind of was. It did put his name on the map. We got to give it that. It's for all the wrong reasons, but it did get his name out there. But no matter how bad that movie was, you can say that you saw that passion. He wanted to tell that story he wanted to be there you could tell he was having fun making this ridiculously terrible fucking movie not here though it doesn't even seem like he wants to be making this movie it just seems like they were there they turned cameras on and said go we'll we'll, we'll make something happen in post and that would be because that's pretty much what happened this movie was a byproduct of another movie and in fact it's not even the only byproduct Uwe Boll was making three fucking movies at once while making this movie he set out to make a historical drama called Ashowitz which he did make but while making that movie on his off time Time, he made this movie and Blubberella at the exact same time with all the same actors and many of the same sets. And this is what you get when someone is making three totally different fucking movies at the same goddamn time. A fucking mess. Not that he was a genius filmmaker to begin with and that's what just pushed him over the edge, but when you take someone who already has a hard enough time making a cohesive interesting story and say, hey, do it three times at the same fucking time, that's fucking insanity. Now I'll go ahead and put it out there. This movie sucks. It's fucking trash. It's awful. There's no reason in the world to fucking watch it. And if you've seen Blubberella, that movie's pretty fucking bad too. It is at least self-aware, I'll give it that, but it's not that great either. Now the movie that he was there to make, Ashowitz, I'm not really sure. I don't know if that one's any good or not. I haven't seen it. It may be a fucking masterpiece for all I know. I sure as hell hope it's better than this piece of shit. That's for fuck sure. This movie's just dull, lazy, and worst of all, fucking boring. Now it does at least catch up to the original source material's time period. I'll, I'll guess I'll give it that. We're dealing with Nazis. We got Nazis that turn into vampires and all that stuff.
stuff from the original game. I didn't say it was done well, I just said that we're in that time period. So hey, it got that right, I guess. That's something the previous two movies in the series haven't been able to do. It at least got the time period right. It didn't get much else right, but it got that right. Movie also ratchets up the gore from the last movie. Now that ain't great, and it's not like a gore fest or anything, but when it happens, it is there. You see it. The last movie was a bit nerfed when it came to this. But this one, when people are slashed and all that, there are gushes of blood that go flying. Now, none of it's particularly great looking, but it's not awful. I'll give it that. It's clear that it's not coming off of them and it's somebody like right off camera shooting it up with like a blood cannon or something. But you know what? I'm not going to take it from them. It's practical and it's there. So that I guess is a positive. There's also an explicitly gratuitous scene of two hot chicks fucking. So if that's your thing, there you go. I mean, there's that. They are beautiful women, naked. I like women, so there was that. I guess that part wasn't terrible. It, it, it was at least two beautiful women on screen naked. That does it for you. There's another positive. And that's about it. That's about all the positives this movie has. Right time period, practical gore, two hot chicks fucking. That's it. Well, there's one more thing. It does fucking end and there's not another one. So that's probably the biggest positive of all. Or at least there's not another one yet. Oh, don't speak it into existence. The movie also just looks like ass too. I mean, like the, everything about it, the way it's shot, just on screen looking at it, it just looks bad. It is definitely an afterthought in every sense of the word. The second movie, Blood Rain Deliverance, was actually more entertaining and better than this movie. And when I say Blood Rain, Rain 2 is better than anything, that is really saying something. Because I never thought those words would come out of my mouth. However, the day that the words alone in the dark is better than this movie come out of my mouth, that is when we know that we have achieved true cinematic dog shit. Not quite there yet. This this is better than Alone in the Dark. I'll give it that much. Not by much though. Our performances are... <laughs> are, are they performances? I'm not really sure. I think it's just people there speaking. I don't even know if they had a script. They're just talking. He probably just said, hey, you're supposed to be talking about this. And you got two people and they just start talking about stuff. And every now and then people fuck in like really weird situations. And that's it. So yeah, the performances here are just bad. There's there's not much else to say about it. They're just fucking bad. No, they're not even bad. They're fucking terrible. We would have gotten a better performance out of watching the screenwriter sitting on a toilet taking a shit for two hours than watching the performances in this fucking movie. They're just bad, period. There it is. Now while this movie did finally get the setting right for this franchise, it just missed the mark on everything else. It couldn't even get Rain's signature weapons, those like Tanfu or whatever you call it, blade things she has. She even had those in the second movie. I mean, they've never looked that great. They looked real bad in the first movie and in the second one they looked okay. But here, she doesn't even fucking have them. She, she just has swords because Fuck it, why not? The reason's probably because they didn't even plan on shooting this movie. They were making this other movie and they said, hey, you know what we should do? We got some extra time and nothing to do out here in the middle of fucking nowhere. Let's make another fucking Blood Rain movie. And everybody was like, but, but Uwe, why? I mean, nobody really wanted the second one. I mean, nobody really wanted the first one. Why, why would we make a third one? And he said, because I'm Uwe Boll and I said so. And if we don't, then I'm gonna take you in the ring and we're gonna box. And they said, well, shit, I don't wanna get knocked the fuck out by this crazy little German man. So, hey, okay, let's make fucking Blood Rain 3. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how this movie came about. I doubt they even asked anybody. They didn't even get financing because there's no fucking money on screen here. They just used like a little bit of pocket change from the other movie and made this fucking movie. So fucking bad, man. It's just, it, it's fucking lazy as shit and boring as hell. There's nothing going on in this movie. Like I said at the top, the best thing that this movie has going for it is the idea of Clint Howard's crazy Nazi scientist trying to take some of this vampire human mixed blood and inject it into Hitler and make him some type of like crazy Nazi vampire Fuhrer. Like I said though, the idea, we never see it. It never materializes. But that could be like this crazy fucking out there movie that could actually be some pretty good fucking fun if it didn't take itself too seriously. Hell, it could even have some political and social commentary in there. And oddly enough, that is where it seems that Bull is the most at home. When he's making fun of people, when he's making fun of himself, when he's making fun of everyone, that seems to be when he is at his best. Look at Postal, arguably his best video game movie to date. Is it a masterpiece? No, but it is always fucking entertaining. Well, I've only seen one of them and I remember it being okay. He does have a series of movies called Rampage that deal with political and social commentary quite a bit 
and I heard that those movies are actually pretty good. Is it pretty good? I didn't say great, but I hear that people have fairly good things to say about them. A whole lot better than the things they say about his video game movies. That's for fuck sure. My point is that the guy should probably stick to his strength. And Blood Rain and really just video game movies in general are not his fucking strength. Guys, is it really any surprise that Blood Rain 3 is total fucking trash? Did you click on this video and say, hey, maybe this is the one that's gonna change it all? Maybe this is the one that's gonna turn the video game movie genre all around and make it good? This is going to be Uwe Boll's masterpiece. Well, if you did, I'm really sorry to disappoint you. This is not that movie, not at all. This movie's pretty fucking terrible on pretty much every level. Terrible performances, terrible story, terrible cinematography, just a terrible fucking movie. It's not even so bad, it's good. It's just fucking bad. And worst of all, as I've always said, you can get away with a lot with me in movies, but the one thing that you cannot do as a form of entertainment is be fucking boring. And this movie is fucking boring. And also, this movie is a fucking dumpster fire. <laughs> movies in this series, unfortunately. And while this is not the worst video game movie I've seen, it is at least up there with the top five to seven for sure. It's bad and it's terrible, but like I said, the worst part of all is it's just fucking boring. It's lazy and it's just like, why is this here? Why does it exist? It's just... Ugh, there's zero passion here. So for the love of God, do not ever watch this movie. There's no fucking reason in the world for anyone to ever watch this movie. Unless you're doing a series on video game movie reviews, and at that point, what the fuck, man? That's my thing. So there it is, guys, my review of Blood Rain, The Third Reich. If you enjoyed and want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you liked what I had to say, give me a like. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, Stay sexy, Berlin. Ugh. She's the best I've ever seen. So what's next on the video game movie review list? Red Faction Origins. Wasn't that a sci-fi movie? Oh, fuck. How many more of these fucking movies do I have? 23? 23 more video game fucking movies? Why did I decide to do this? Ugh.